Many of you probably still don't know, don't have your trades ranked in the order of power and importance. So, for instance, you have elephant bars, you've got tail bars, you've got bull and bear 180s, you've got RBIs, GBIs, you've got the different types of opportunities that you play, but which one makes the most money for you? Some of you still don't know that. Which one is more accurate than all the rest? Some of you don't know that. Some of you don't know which one is the most consistent. May not make me the most, but I have a higher, which one has the highest winning rate? Which one loses the most money? Which tactic of mine do I suck at? If you don't know these things, how can you, how do you even know how to trade if you don't know these things? So we're going to talk about what I consider to be the most powerful scenario of all. And I would suggest that you consider it the most powerful scenario as well. So it is here with QCOM. Number one, the first criteria is an elephant bar, right? Boom. That's criteria one. Criteria two, it is, no, that's not criteria two. It is an elephant bar plus. So criteria two is that it's not just an elephant bar. It's got plus nature to it. All right. So it's a little bit more, not a lot more, a lot more gets too dangerous, a little bit more than an elephant. It's like 20% more. Like if I chopped 20% off the elephant bar, it would still be an elephant. Boom, that's elephant plus. But if I chop 20% off the bar and it's still an elephant plus, 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 it's too big. I'm talking about a bar where if I took one-fifth away, if I took 20% away, it's a nice, good, normal elephant. All right? And that's what you have here. If you were to take 20% of this bar away, it's still, it's still a nice, good elephant. It's not still a super elephant. Like, I took 20% and it's still a super, super duper elephant. No, that's too big. So, let's go over the criteria again. One, elephant bar. I'm going to write the word out here. I got to do it. Plus. It's elephant bar plus. Item number three is that it's clearing. I guess in Spanish you'd say eliminando. Right? Clearing, I spelled that wrong. All right, so one, elephant, two, it's plus, three, it's clearing, four, the criteria, four, it's originating from a support area. So it's originating from some type of support or some type of support is right under it. So support, of course, the opposite of this scenario would be resistance, right? So support is right under it. It's either originating from support or support is right under it. Okay, that's criteria number four. There's one last criteria. Five. Running out of space here, but let's do five down here. The left is clear. Meaning the immediate left is clear. 
Now, if you have a clearing event, it's you're going to automatically get five for the most part. What do I mean by the immediate left is clear? There's nothing to the immediate left obstructing it. You have to go back to get something. But five is almost a given if you're dealing with clearing. All right? There's nothing like right here, meaning look. There's nothing right here that it has to contend with. So this is a beautiful bar, but right to the left of it is something in its face. To the immediate left, I mean, you can always go back far enough to find something, but to the immediate left, there's not much, okay? Now, when you put these things together, you get really solid moves a high percentage of the time. 